I'm Steve Zaragoza. It's troubling times we live in, Lee. Our security is compromised. The NSA able to glance willy-nilly at any of our happenings and doings and goings-ons. But it's not all sleeping in a dead tauntaun as Doodle Master and Goodsman So Sang Mun believes he has the key master. The recent graduate from Rhode Island School of Design unveiled a new font made up of what he calls disruptive typeface, making it much more difficult for data collectors such as the NSA to decrypt. The font is called ZXX, named after the Library of Congress's labeling code for when archivists find a book that has no linguistic content. Content. Though the type speak won't make a good data scramble, the government robots won't be able to get at it with their reading eyes. The font has a graphic aesthetic to it and in a way resembles the CAPTCHA security protection. Did someone say the CAPTCHA? Wait, who are you? Where'd Steve go? A bird flew by and he's chasing it down the hallway. What a goof. You're so fast! I'm Fleeble Manhandle, inventor of the world's primary human recognition test, the CAPTCHA. It's funny because it's difficult. I can't read that. Singh has stated in his manifesto that his intent is expressly political, adding, the militarization of cyberspace must stop. This physical, mental, and technological growing invasion of privacy and surveillance dehumanizes us. Begging the question, what if only we had a surefire way of proving humanity, thereby protecting it? Caption! I can't read that! It's bad in it, dude. It's time for you to leave, okay? You're off-putting. It's actually part of my charm. It's the opposite of charm. The font, which is available for free download, works by misdirecting information or sometimes not giving any at all. It can be applied to huge amounts of data or personal correspondence, which is why I was up late last night rewriting all my old live journal posts in this new font. Lee, I don't think the NSA is going to be that interested in your diary posts. Oh, really? Really? Is that what you think? What about this entry? January 12, 2002. Dear Diary, today I watched an old episode of the TV show Doug. Why is her name Patty Mayonnaise? Okay, I can't figure out if it's suggestive or not. Are all your diary entries about Doug? They're not not. Yeah, yeah, I think you're safe. So what's your thinker brewing about the NSA blocking word clothes? It's good? It's bad? Write your thought droppings in the word box downstairs. Don't forget to share your love and join the team. And you can mouse click that float box for the source goods. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Lee Newton. Telegram for Lee Newton. Oh. I still can't read this. Gotcha.